Once upon a time, nestled between the mountains of Multitask and the River Rapid, lay the bustling kingdom of Fifthwith. The inhabitants were a peculiar folk who prided themselves on their unmatched promptness. While neighbouring kingdoms were satisfied with doing things forthwith, the people of Fifthwith believed in taking it up a notch. They did everything Fifthwith. After all, as any Fifthwithian would tell you with a wink, it's obviously one better. In Fifthwith, procrastination was a mythical creature parents used to scare children into finishing their homework before it was assigned. The royal motto emblazoned on the kingdom's crest read, Why wait for later when you can do it fifth with? The bakers baked bread so swiftly that the yeast didn't even have time to rise, resulting in the famous fifth with flatbread. An acquired taste, to be sure. The tailors crafted suits so quickly that fashion trends changed every hour, leaving the citizens in a perpetual state of wardrobe malfunction. One day, a traveller named Sir Lingralot from the land of Lollygag decided to visit Fifthwith. As he strolled into the kingdom at his usual leisurely pace, he was nearly knocked over by a flurry of activity. Messengers darted past him, delivering messages before they'd even been written. Farmers harvested crops before the seeds hit the soil. It was a whirlwind of efficiency, or perhaps insanity. Excuse me, Sir Lingralot called out to a man who was painting a fence so fast that the paint barely touched the wood. Why is everyone in such a hurry? The man paused for a millisecond, which in Fifth Withian time was an eternity. Hurry? This is just how we do things here. We handle tasks fifth with. It's one better than fourth with, you know, he said, before resuming his painting at lightning speed. Sir Lingaralot decided to grab a bite at a local eatery called the Quick Bite. Before he could say, I'll have the... The waiter had already served, billed, and cleared his meal. Confused and still hungry, he wandered into the town square where the citizens were assembling and disassembling a festival at breakneck speed. How do you ever enjoy anything if it's over before it begins? Sir Lingralot mused aloud. A woman arranging and unarranging flowers in a vase replied, Enjoyment? We haven't scheduled that yet. Maybe next Tuesday at 2, 03 p.m. For a minute. Realising that the fifth with lifestyle wasn't for him, Sir Lingralot decided to leave. As he exited the kingdom, he noticed a sign that read, You are now leaving Fifthwith. Come back soon, but make it quick. He chuckled and shook his head. Perhaps sometimes doing things forthwith or even sixthwith might be the way to go, he thought, taking a leisurely step back toward the land of Lollygag, where time was abundant and so was the joy of savouring it. And so the people of Fifthwith continued their speedy ways, always one step ahead, but perhaps missing the scenery along the way. They never did understand why anyone would do things any other way, firmly believing that Fifthwith was obviously one better.